Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with Bulldog Hockey and joined by Associate Head Coach Drew Famulak. Coach, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Rob. Obviously, uh, second season starts uh, for your team this week as you travel to Bowling Green here for the opening round of the CCHA playoff. Yeah, it just seems like you know a couple weeks ago we were just there, uh, regular season. Um, so we're going to be very familiar with them. They'll be familiar with us. Uh, now it's just a matter of going through our prep work here throughout the week. Obviously, 39th all-time playoff appearance here for the Bulldogs, and I know uh, you guys uh, see this as another opportunity to really kind of continue your season. Well, it, it, it's a chance to really, really uh, cement your season. Um, you know, we've had some ups and downs this year, but more ups, and, and the kids are really responding to uh, playing under some pressure situations, uh, whether it was on the road, whether it's at home, uh, trying to vie for home ice. Those are all situations that are good for our kids for this time of the year. Obviously, as we go to the highlights of this past week in a final regular season series, and nice to play at home, but against Lake Superior State, and uh, one of the, one of the, another competitive uh, CCHA series here. Yeah, in the I, there's just no easy ones in our league right now. Everybody's good, and, and going into it, we knew they were going to be uh, very good. Their goaltending has been about 93.5% this month, so, so we knew that would be a challenge for us. Obviously, uh, you've seen the Lakers early January, but a lot has changed for both teams uh, since that point. Yeah, they've, they've got some different personnel. We had some different personnel in. Uh, but I think w what you see is both both goalies played very well. Uh, even though they were low-scoring games, there was some some high-end chances out there. So we'll get the first goal uh, here coming up is uh, take a one-to-nothing lead, and uh, that score uh, kind of stood up going into the second period. Yeah, we were playing well. Gave up a, a, a PK goal, but it was uh, just a good shot by them, and our structure on that was good. It, it just you know kind of found some eyes and hit the back of the net. This game, uh, you guys had a 35-29 edge overall in total shots for the night, so had some opportunities to, to score uh, here in this contest. Yeah, I know, and you'll see right there, uh, Caden Galt you know, went high shelf on that one. Uh, tremendous shot to tie the game up, but we did have some big time chances with those breakaways, uh, two on ones, and it was just a matter of you know finishing. Obviously going into the third period here, tied at one, and uh, we'll see you guys get the, the go-ahead goal uh, here coming up shortly in the third period. Well, great play by K-Wall here, killing a penalty. Goalie made the mistake and he just missed it, but. But just his uh, aggressiveness in order to, to get up the ice to make those plays. And you're going to see a good, big, strong play here by uh, Antonio and attacks the net right away. And, and we're, we're hounding loose pucks. Another great play here by Nards. He's going to roll high roll with our D, uh, Slicker. Um, Slicker gets a chance and, and puts it in. Obviously, Matt Slick, one of those guys that's uh, kind of been a leader for you here over the course of the year. Yeah, he's been great from day one. You know, we brought him in as a grad transfer from Holy Cross. and. He's done a tremendous job. Obviously, they get the tying goal and then uh, a flurry here to kind of finish. You had some opportunities here late. And then in overtime, uh, really a, a contest that was uh, a lot of fun for the fans to watch. It was fun for the fans. And, and uh, you know, breakaway here. Uh, we get a breakaway. Um, uh, good chance in here. Uh, Bradley's right in uh, front and center. Um, and then we just had a bit of a miscue there, and, and they banged home the winner. But overall, I thought it was a tremendous effort. Um, great crowd. Um, and it was just enough to uh, make sure we did get that point uh, to come out of there with a the tie. Obviously, yeah, you get one point out of that contest, and then uh, you go into Saturday night's game, and Saturday night, not only the regular season finale, a lot on the line, but a senior night and a chance to celebrate your senior class. Oh, it was awesome. Uh, those seniors have, have been through some, some, some ups and downs, and every one of those kids have played an integral part of, of getting us to where we are today. Obviously, a little different format. Uh, you had a chance to honor them on the ice, and then a special post-game uh, reception uh, to honor those seniors. Yeah, no, it was good. It was in the, uh, the new gymnasium, and they got a chance to, to you know, be in front of their parents, fans. Uh, the band was there. We got to honor uh, the band and, and their seniors and, and their leader, who's, who's stepping down after this year, I think. But uh, they've just been tremendous in terms of the atmosphere in the arena. And, I know Coach Daniels thanked them uh, during that night, but but publicly they've just done a tremendous job. Obviously, you mentioned the atmosphere, a great crowd on hand Saturday night, and nice to have so many fans in the building to help honor uh, these seniors. Yeah, no, I think it was close to a sellout, if it, if it wasn't, but it looked like a sellout to me. And uh, like I said, the seniors, they all put their best foot forward, and, and uh, they, they all contribute in their own ways, and, and whether it's leadership on ice, uh, but they've just done a tremendous job uh, over their course of four years. As we go to the highlights of the game, uh, obviously, uh, Another one of those games that was kind of a, a wild first period with both teams getting a couple goals. Yeah, great play there by Deals. He, he kind of looked off Caden and then went shelf on that to tie it, uh, but great play. Obviously, Lake Superior State will reclaim the lead, but uh, you guys, uh, as you've done all year, never never quit, uh, fought right back and, and got a tying goal here. Yeah, great on the power play. You know, we got the puck to the net and it was a good tip and um, you know another good chance right here for, for uh, uh, Schleppi and 
like I said, it wasn't a matter of chance as we just didn't get enough puck luck here down the stretch. Obviously, uh, you mentioned you get the power play goal. Both teams, uh, though, did a pretty solid job uh, on special teams in terms of uh, preventing goals uh, here on the weekend. Well, and I think a lot of that is the goaltending. I thought both kids played very, very well in that. And um, like I said, uh, uh, we had chances. We were net front a lot. And it was just a matter of, of trying to, you know, direct them a little bit more in front of the net versus, you know, maybe coming out of the corner. Obviously, uh, playing at home here against Lake Superior State and uh, the Lakers, a team that uh, had a lot riding on the game, too, in terms of uh, some of the implications for postseason play. Yeah, no, it, it went down to the wire. You know, um, nobody really knew where they were going to go uh, coming into uh, the game. Um, so, like I said, it was a hard-fought game. And like I said, it was just a lot of fun to, to, to play with what was on the line in front of a, uh, a sold-out crowd. Obviously, going into this third and final period, uh, what's maybe the emphasis uh, in the locker room going into this final period? You know, it was just to, to, to stick with our structure. Um, uh, how we were, were, were breaking out was, was a big focus for us. It was a great place by, or play by McLaren, uh, attacking the net. We wanted to take more pucks to the net like that. That was probably uh, an emphasis as well. Um, but like I said, we, we did a tremendous job in terms of staying within our structure uh, and trying to get that equalizer. Obviously, they got the, the go-ahead goal right there, and then uh, you guys came back and had some opportunities, especially you know in the closing minutes here uh, when, when you finally pulled the goalie and uh, had a chance. Yeah, great you... play by Coop there. You know, he was front and center, and... Uh, like I said, it was, uh, wasn't was a lack of chances. Uh, we just maybe need to get a little more traffic in front of their goalie. Uh, but like I said, I thought uh, both teams defensively played very well. Obviously now uh, another opportunity. You head to Bowling Green and uh, a team you had some success against this year in a, a highly competitive series just a few weeks ago. Yeah, and, and you know, if you go back to, I think, in November when we played them, um, it, it was a very good series at home. Uh, we had a good series there. So they, like I said, we had, I don't know how much pre-scouting is going to be because we just played each other. I think now it's just a matter of, you know, doing what we do, uh, doing it well, um, and maybe getting to those hard areas just a little bit more. Obviously, into playoff hockey now, what, what does it take to win uh, some playoff games, especially doing it uh, on the road? Yeah, it, it, you know, it, you, we just have to stay consistent with what we've been doing. Um, you know, we've had points pretty much every weekend except for a couple this year, whether it's been ties, wins, sweeps on the road. Um, so now it's just a matter of uh, staying with what we do. Um, we do need to tweak a few things for what they do, but we, we just want to make sure that the things that we're doing, we're doing very well when we hit that ice on Friday. Well, Coach, best of luck to the Bulldogs. Best of three series at Bowling Green coming up this weekend. Well, thank you. That'll do it for Ferris Sports Update. A reminder, you can follow all the action online at FerrisStateBulldogs.com. Have a great week.